Hi, today I would like to show you how to install laminate floor. In my last video I showed you how to prepare concrete floor for one step underlayment. And today, over one step, I will be installing those planks. I will start installation from my longest wall, going from the left this way. And I'm using quarter inch spacers. You want to put a few planks on the floor, just like that. It's very important to make that first line really straight. Making any kind of flooring, you want to make sure that you stagger joints in this particular flooring, producer wants us to make at least a one foot pieces. <coughs> Assembling that kind of floor is a pretty easy process. Each plank on the side joints have a groove. This groove matches up this one, so you want to make sure that you're going to drop this groove into that one, overlapping the pieces. Also, you want to make sure that this is lined up perfectly. This joint is still not fully engaged. To fully engage this joint, we need to take the next piece and we have to drop the tongue into the groove and we have to lock those three pieces together. And now this joint is fully engaged. It will not move. But before I can lock this piece in place, I need to lock this one first. So again, tongue side into the groove side, lift it up on the angle, and now tongue side into the groove side, you want to slide it towards the left and drop it. And now this is fully engaged joint. I will assemble three or four rows and that will get me this edge perfectly straight. I cut short pieces to make sure they a foot or longer. Now I can push all those assembled pieces against the wall, well actually against the spacers. Just like so.
I have to cut off this corner because I want that piece be under the be under the tree. But we have a two by four over there. I have to cut off exactly in the place where the two by four is. Look at this seam, even though I put the plug in the groove and push it down, it, it didn't fully engage this joint. But what I want to demonstrate to you is if you take the next plank and pull this way, plank in the next row is engaging the, the joint in the previous row. In this row, my last piece would have to be about three and a half inches long. And like I said before, manufacturer wants us to make a foot long pieces. But I figured that if I will shorten this piece to about a foot, that will give me 8 inches plus 3.5 that is almost a foot so I will deassemble those few planks and I will change that piece for shorter one
working around the trim is not that easy. I would like to have my piece this way, to be under that trim. And starting from the left side, going this way, I cannot make it. So, let's pretend that those are my pieces. So you see, there's no way that I can install this piece and make it under. I can just make it just like that, but then I can see a hole. So to install laminate around the trim, we have to start on the right side, going this way. I will show you how it's done. So, I already pre-cut my piece. And I have to engage. Not fully engage, so I don't want to press it down. And I want, but I want tongue in the groove. And I will slide it down. Okay, just like that. So that's my first piece. And now we can press it so it's fully engaged. So what I do is I install this plank in the groove, slide towards the slide towards this one. Lift it up a little bit, push it. I will continue on this line exactly the same way how I did the previous joint. Lift it up, push it more, make sure it's nice and flat, and it's done. Next row, I have to do exactly the same way. Again, I wouldn't be able to, to put this one in place because my trim is on the way. So again, I'm going to slide that under the trim. Pacer. Just like that. The next piece will go under. Now I can continue laying from the left side down. Once you did your first few rows, installation goes pretty fast. You want to tap a few times with your 
your head. When measuring for your cut, what you want to do is grab your spacer, put it against the wall, grab your plank, rotate it 180 degrees, put it against the spacer, and mark. Grab yourself a square and mark nice straight line. Now, when this is rotated and the part from here is gone, I can install my piece. If you watched my previous video about one step, you know why I have those boxes all over the place. Now with the planks I installed so far, I don't think that under them is going to move anywhere. So, I think it's time to clean them up. I cut that piece to make sure it will fit under the door trim but I have to do one more trick and I need to figure it out how wide I have to cut that piece so I will put just temporarily I will put one piece like that distance is two inches and one quarter so I will cut two inches on this side and the same two inches and one quarter so that piece I'm gonna cut two inches wide and 38 and a half inches long for this cutoff I'm gonna use some damaged piece here you can see I'm missing some, some part, it's not much, not big of a deal, but that's also my worst piece, so I'm cutting this one. And I have to cut, and I have to cut the part and leave the part with the groove. So 38 and a half inches long and 2 inches wide. Also, you want, you want to measure from, from this edge. You're not going to see the groove after installation, you're going to see that part. And I measured from, from this edge. So again, you want to make sure we're not measuring like that, just like that. Two inches. And two inches on the other side. I got my piece. Which will go here but to do that I have to deassemble that if 
first I have to put this one on its place. Just like that. Now I can slide this one in. Perfect. Just like that. I also need to put spacers at the end. On those two rows I need to work backwards again. I will show you a little trick here whenever you need to use a hammer to move those pieces make sure you're gonna use scrap piece of plank to match it up those edges put that piece in you're not gonna damage that that edge 